welcome to LIFE, our first online holiday club. My name is Emma, I'm with my friends Finn and Mel. We will be getting to know you better over the next few days and exploring the Bible together with games and crafts, songs and fun. Hey Finn, tell me something funny about you. Well, uh, hi, my name's Finn and I have a twin sister. Yeah, it doesn't sound so funny, but when you have to live with it, it's uh, a whole other thing. Mel, could you uh, tell us something funny about you? Hi, I'm Mel. One thing that is so cool about me, I can write with both my hands. Both hands? Wow. Yeah. What about you, Emma? Huh? Well, I can't write with both hands, but I do have chickens in my back garden. And they give me fresh eggs every day. And we've just got some new ones and they're tiny. They're very cute. Sounds delicious. The eggs, not the new chickens. <laughs> but Emma, haven't you forgotten about all of our other friends? Our other friends? Yes, Villa and Spiller. This oh. is Villa. She's a lovely red bucket. She's so happy when we cheer each other up. And we're so kind to each other. Look, if you say you love someone, or if I say, Finn, I love your glasses. She makes you so happy. Look, if you've had water poured into your bucket. Oh, thank you very much, Mel. Uh, they're my favourites and the uh, only pair. And this is our friend Spiller. Now, he's a lovely blue bucket, but sometimes when he feels sad or people say unkind things to him, the water spills out of his bucket. I did something yesterday that made my mum a bit sad. Oh no, what happened? Well, she asked me to buy a birthday card for somebody when I was out shopping and I totally forgot um, so she was a bit sad and a bit cross. Oh, no. So in the end, I decided I would make one and drop it round to her. And I said, I was really sorry. So hopefully that made her feel a bit better. Oh, Phila is so proud of you, Emma. You set things right. Well done. Phila helps us to know when we're feeling good, full of confidence and happy again. Truly ourselves. As long little buckets are filled up and spill out. He makes us know when we're hurt or upset. Love rubbing water spilled out of our buckets. Yeah, and they'll be helping us this week with all kinds of Bible stories, so you'll get to know them too. Now, now that we've met all of our friends, I think it's time to have a great sing song. So if you're able to, get up and find some wiggling room. If you've got lots of space, you can be really active during this song and go absolutely crazy like this. But if you don't have a lot of space, be nice and careful. Keep you dancing nice and tight, just like Emma's doing right now. And we're going to sing along to this song, Zoom Around the Room. I'm going to zoom, zoom, zoom around the room, room, room. I'm going to zoom around the room and praise the Lord. Because of all he's done, I'm going to make him number one. I'm going to zoom around the room. Praise the Lord. I'm gonna click, click, click. I'm gonna clap, clap, clap. I'm gonna click, I'm gonna clap and praise the Lord. Because of all He's done, I'm gonna make Him number one. I'm gonna click, I'm gonna clap and praise the Lord. I'm gonna sing, sing, sing. I'm gonna shout, shout, shout. I'm gonna sing, I'm gonna shout and praise the Lord. Because of all He's done, I'm gonna make Him number one. I'm gonna sing, I'm gonna shout and praise the Lord. I'm gonna zoom, zoom, zoom around the room, room, room. I'm gonna zoom around the room and praise the Lord. Because of all he's done, I'm gonna make him number one. I'm gonna zoom around the room and praise the Lord. Oh, that was great fun, wasn't it? I think it's time for a challenge now, don't you? Are you up for that? Oh, yes, please. Okay, so, do you have your pens and pencils and cups ready? I'm just going to get mine. Right, here we go. So, the challenge is, how many pens and pencils can you balance on top of your cup without knocking them off? Okay, I'm going to try first. Okay, ready? Here we go. Good luck, Finn. Thank you very much. Right, one... My hand is not very stable, so... Oh, oh no! 
Oh, try again. again. Try again. Try again. I'm going to hold a bit higher up. Right, here we go. One. Two. Ooh. These pens are very wobbly. Oh, no! They oh, great! Well done, Finn. Thank you very much. I, I was a bit sad that they all fell off, but Mel was a real filler there, helping me to feel better after that. She what? was. Go. We're going to try this for the next two or three minutes. See if you can do it at home. Okay. Uh, shall I have a go? Yeah, right. how about yeah. you? I'm just going to pick my pens up. Okay, I'm going to try it. Here's one. One. Two. two. Three. Four. Oh, she's on four. You're already five. doing me. Oh. Six. Can you go for six? Oh, oh no. Well done, Emma. Thank you, Mel. I got six. That's not bad. That's not bad It's a lot better Bye, than me. Mel. You're going. Oh, come, on, Mel. come on. One. Two. You've already beaten me. Three. Three. Four. Oh, it's getting close to mine. <gasps> Five. Five. Oh, my hand's starting to shake now. Oh, come on, no, you can do it, Mel. You can do it. it. Six. Seven. Seven. Are you counting along with me? Eight. Come on, everyone at home, count along. Nine. Nine. Ten. <gasps> oh no! Oh. I got ten. Well, that's what you got earlier when we practiced. That was really good. Well Thank done. Thank you. That's amazing. Oh, well, that was great fun. But I think I need a bit of a sit down after all that. Yeah. Um, I have got my favourite cushion that I'm going to sit on. Um, I wonder if you're sitting on your favourite cushion or perhaps you could sit on the knee of your favourite person. But it's time for our story today. Mel, can you tell us the story? Because you are so good at telling stories. Oh, thanks, Emma. I feel so filled up now. Of course I'd love to tell you a story, but I'm going to need you all to help me. Thumbs up if you can. Come on, Dad. I can see you too. Will you help me? Great. All you need to do is when you see Philip being filled up, can you cheer and put your thumbs up? Just not Finn and Emma have been. Yay! Yay! And when you see Philip being spilled out, will you put your thumbs down and boom? Boom! Just not like this. Are you ready? Everything happened at the village well. And I mean, everything happened. Everyone? Who was anyone? Met and chatted. Oh, and they fetched some water in between chatting. It was basically a very chatty sort of place. If you wanted to know anything about anything, then the wow was the place to go. A resting place, a refreshing place, a meeting place, and of course, a chatting place. Now, the one in our story was no different. If you wanted to know who was who and what was what in Samaria, now this was a small area between Jerusalem and Galilee, then all you had to do was hang around Jacob's well. But, of course, you had to choose the right time to go. The early morning was the best, or maybe the call of the evening. It was not a good idea to fetch water in the middle of the day. Who can stand around chatting at the hottest time of the day? That's why it was so strange on this particular day. You see, the woman in our story chose to go at midday. And of course, there was no one there, no one to chat to. Why would anyone want to talk to you? No gossip to share. Why would we tell you anything? And no news to find out. No one wants to share news with you. But that is exactly what she wanted. She wanted to be left alone. We don't like you. Ever since she had left her husband, things had been bad. No one liked her and no one had a good word for her. And nobody wanted to spend time with her. And you're not invited to my party because nobody likes you. But she didn't care. She was used to it. So no talk, 
no chat and no gossip at the well. That was fine by her. That's why she was there alone, in the middle of the day. Until he came along. This man turned up. A man at the well, at midday, in the heat. He was a kindly looking man, but was a stranger from Jerusalem, or maybe Nazareth, but certainly not a Samaritan. He won't want to mix with you. Perhaps if she kept her head down, this man wouldn't bother her and she could get away without any insults or unkind words. But this man was different. This man was Jesus. He spoke to her and asked, Can I have a drink of water, please? The woman filled a cup of water for Jesus and he took it from her and said, Thank you. In those days, men didn't usually talk to women, unless they were family. But he, an outsider, spoke to her. Very unusual. This man certainly knew how to take someone by surprise. And then come the strangest of conversations. How come you're asking me for a drink? Well, if you knew who I was, you'd ask me for a drink. But you haven't even got a jar to put water in. Your water is fine for a quick drink, but... In five minutes, you'll be thirsty again. The drink I'm talking about is like having your own well of water bubbling up inside of you. You'll never be thirsty ever again. Oh, I'd like some of that water. Where can I find this living water? I am the source of that living water. And I want you to know me. Now, go and fetch your husband. Suddenly, the voices in the woman's head said, Aha, that does it. He must know all about you all about the mess in your life but how could jesus know all about her if he was a stranger he was clearly someone special someone from god who could see right into her life the woman felt uncomfortable and she did what a lot of us do when we feel that way she asked a question about something completely different uh, which church do you think is best for people to worship at? It doesn't matter what church you go to or worship at, because what's important is what your worship is like, on the inside, in, in your heart. But no one can see inside your heart, unless they're God's promised rescuer, the one we're all waiting for, the one that God has promised. And then Jesus said these amazing words. I am God's promised rescuer. The woman opened her eyes wide in amazement. The man was God's promised rescuer. He knew all about her and yet he was still chatting to her. He was the one God was sending to sort out all the mess of the world. The one who would sort out the mess in our lives. The one who was already sorting out the mess in her life. The woman was so excited she forgot about getting water from the well and left the jar on the ground. She rushed back to the village and started to chat to people of the village. She wanted to speak to people because she had some news to share that she could not keep in. I've met God's promised rescuer. He knows all about me and he's not unkind or cruel and in fact he likes me. He actually wants to talk to me and it feels like water is bubbling up in my heart and I I feel all clean on the inside. It wasn't long before the whole village had heard about Jesus because of this woman. They came and found Jesus themselves and they too experienced a feeling of water bubbling up inside of them as they chatted to him. Then they said to the woman, because of you we have discovered Jesus for ourselves. He is the promised rescuer, not just for Jerusalem, not just for Galilee, not even just for us in Samaria, but he's the saviour of the world. Thank you. The woman was amazed. They were talking to her and she had made new friends. Thank you, Mel. I really loved that story. Jesus really loves to fill our buckets. He tells us that he loves us and encourages us through what he says in the Bible. When we read his words and listen to him, he fills up our buckets 
just like he did for the woman in our story today. And when we're kind to each other and, and we help each other and we say encouraging things to each other, we're filling up other people's buckets too. But the most exciting thing about that story was that Jesus introduced himself to a lonely lady, someone who felt unimportant, left out, and he became her friend. And through meeting Jesus, her life was turned upside down and inside out, and her bucket was filled up. And she was welcomed back by some new friends. It didn't mean that her life was always going to be happy after that, but it did mean that she always had Jesus to encourage her and to fill her bucket. I wonder if Jesus is your friend, if you chat with him and he fills your bucket up. Jesus is my friend and if I'm having a bad day, then I can chat with him and he can fill my bucket again. Why not ask Jesus to be your friend? When you go into your groups with your leaders, you can chat to them and you can ask Jesus to be your friend today. Jesus never says no to anybody and we know he loves to fill up buckets. During our activity time later, you could chat with your group leader and ask Jesus to be your friend. But now I think it's time for a song. Yeah, I, I think so too. And what we're going to do is we're going to sing one of my favourite songs of all time called Happy Day. And it remembers how when we became friends with Jesus. So like before, if you can, jump on your feet and remember to make sure you have enough space for the actions you want to do. This is a song, Happy Day, from one of our churches, St John's. One, two, three, four, one. Oh, happy day, happy day, you wash my sin away. Oh, happy day, happy day, I'll never be a sin.
So now it's time to get cracking with our activities. But before you go, the activity today will be making your own filler and spiller. And we really want to see them, don't we? Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, please. So if you do create your own filler and spiller today, you can get your parents to post a photo to either our Instagram or Facebook pages, which you can see the addresses for on the top left hand side of the screen at Parish Mission Support C of e B. Now, we can't see your lovely faces in these photos, but if you send them in to us, we can have a look at them tomorrow or even later on today. So I think it's about time for a drink and biscuit, don't you? I am going to have a cup of tea in my favourite mug. Here it is. Ooh, it's... I've got my favourite mug here too. I'm just going to go and grab it. Yeah, go and get it, Finn, so you can show us. Mine is Beauty and the Beast, and you can see Beauty and the Beast. And I love this mug because also when it's full of tea, you can wrap your hands around it. And it's all nice and warm. It's What's yours, Finn? Mug, isn't it? Well, I think to you it probably looks a bit more like a unicorn mug but it's actually a narwhal, which is a big type of whale that has a horn on the front like a unicorn. It's really cute, isn't it? Let's see if you can get a Wow. Oh, I like that. Yeah, and it's also really big. That's why I love it. Like you, I can put my hands around it and have a really nice hot drink when it's cold. What about you, Mel? What's yours? This is my favourite mug. I got it for my birthday. My family brought it me. and. Just like yours, as soon as I put my hands around it when I've got a lovely cup of tea, it is so nice and warm. So why don't you go and find your favourite mugs in a minute and you can come back and show your um, your leaders what your favourite mug is. And why don't you tell them why it's your favourite mug too? What a great idea, Emma. Why don't I pray before we go and do our activities? Hello, Jesus. Thank you that you have been with us, talked to us all morning as we've done some songs, dances and fun different challenges. I pray that you can speak some kind words to us and help us to be fillers and not spillers. Amen. 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 So, goodbye. We'll see you again tomorrow. And if you're watching us on Facebook or YouTube, make sure you tune in again at 10.30am to come and see what filler and spiller get up to tomorrow. If you're with us on Zoom, don't go anywhere. You'll be moved into your breakout rooms with your groups and leaders without having to do anything. Just give them a wave when you see them to make sure they know you're there. So we'll see you all soon. And it was lovely spending time with you today. Bye. Bye.